Hi, my name is Nevish Rajput and in this video I will be discussing about the topic whether or not China is committing a genocide against the Uyghur Muslims. So in order to classify something as genocide, we must first know the meaning of the word. There's several different definitions, but the one that's used the most is by the UN. The definition in Article 2 of the Convention describes genocide as a crime committed with the intent to destroy a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group in whole or in part. And within this definition, there are five elements for it to be considered a genocide. Number one, killing members of the group. Number two, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members within the group. Number three, deliberately inflicting on a group's condition of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. Number four, imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. Number five, forcibly transferring children of that group to another group. So keeping that in mind, let's take a look at China's actions and crimes towards the Uyghur Muslims. The Uyghurs have been under extreme abuse since 2013 and even before that, but 2013 is when the camps first started. They were on a smaller scale. Almost 1 million Muslims were detained in the first year without any legal process. In 2017, the scale of these internment camps was dramatically increased. An interview done by CNN of a Chinese whistleblower and former cop of China by the name of Jian revealed that hundreds of police officers armed with rifles would go into Uyghur areas and detain anyone and everyone they could, usually in the middle of the night, and then proceed to beat them and transfer them to police detention camps. Not only men were arrested, but so were women and children, as little as 14 years old. So here's a short clip from that CNN interview of the whistleblower. Jiang says he was sent from his home province to work in Xinjiang at least three times, during which he was ordered to arrest hundreds of suspects, all of them ethnic Uyghurs. How were the interrogations being conducted? Beat them, kick them, beat them bruised and swollen, knock their heads on the radiator. Police would step on the suspect's face and tell him to confess. Jiang says some suspects were as young as 14, and all of the detainees were beaten. Were the suspects all men? Men and women. Did you witness women being beaten? Yes. If you want to watch the rest of that video, which I highly recommend that you do, it shows a more in-depth view of the reality of the situation and has a lot more footage. The name is Chinese Whistleblower Exposes Torture of Uyghur Prisoners in CNN Interview. Within the same documentary, another man spoke about how he was raped by several men on his first night within this police detention camp, and he was done so by the orders of the guards at this camp. The prisoners. More than one. More than one. It's, you know, like, just, uh, first of all, they surrounded me, and the police there ordered me to, to like, uh, take off my uh, underwear and let me... And bend like, over. Uh, bend, bend over. Don't do this, don't do this, I, I, I cried. Please don't do this. Along with rape, other horrendous acts were committed against this ethnic minority, such as internment, forced abortion, forced sterilization, forced birth control, forced labor, torture, brainwashing, separating children from their families, sexual abuses, forcing men and women to consume pork and alcohol, which is very strictly forbidden in the religion of Islam and is extremely humiliating to say the least, and other physical and mental abuses as well. So why might China be doing this, you ask? Since 1933, the Uyghurs have been under strict restriction and prevention of their language and cultural and religious practices. They've been trying to gain independence from China since then, which China sees as a vast threat to their national unity. Along with this, China is extremely cautious and disapproving of religious extremism within their country and having well-devoted Muslims is seen as an immense threat. Countries and organizations such as the United States State Department, the Netherlands, Canada, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and New Lines Institute for Strategy and Policy have all come out and said that what China is doing constitutes genocide under international law. However, the UN is yet to declare it a genocide. Why hasn't the UN declared it as genocide? Well, their claim is that they don't have enough evidence to prove that there is intent behind this. But is that really the case? 
or is it because China is a permanent member of the UN Security Council and by formally declaring it as genocide, it would create complicated diplomatic tensions between China and other countries and economic sanctions. By declaring something as genocide, it means that you are obligated to help. Now let's go back to the list of what constitutes as genocide according to the UN and see whether or not what I've stated so far killing members that. of the group. Check. Causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group. Check. Deliberately inflicting on the group's condition of life, calculated to bring about its destruction in whole or in part. Check. Imposing measures to prevent births within the group. Check. Forcibly transferring children to one group to another. Check. So therefore, based off of what I have researched and discovered, my conclusion is that China is committing a genocide against the Uyghur Muslims and against the Uyghur ethnic minority. Thank you. Thank you.